frequency is 12026.5 H. Okay, we have Stetson up on the podium. We have head coach Donnie Jones. We have senior guard Stefan Swenson. We have junior guard Jalen Blackman. We will start with an opening statement from coach, then we'll go to questions for the student athletes, dismiss them, and have questions for coach. But coach, if you want to start with an opening statement. Yes, uh, well, first of all, just let me start off by saying uh, thank you uh, to these two guys to the left of me here. Uh, you know, Steph and uh, Jalen, what they've been to this program this season has just been uh, incredible. What this team, along with these two guys, have been able to accomplish at Stetson for the first time in the history of the school was something that can't be taken away from tonight's performance. So I just want to start off with that. As much as it hurts uh, that we fell short tonight, uh, I've never been around a a group of guys like this. I've had some special teams I've been a part of, but these two guys have been so servant, so sacrificial, and so impactful with how they show up every day and come to a place that has never done it and took a chance on us here. Uh, I just want to thank those two guys uh, to start this off. Questions for the student athletes at this time? We'll start here in the aisle in row four. Jerry Beach from Field Level Media. Just, you know, obviously the game just ended, but can you kind of appreciate what you guys did this year and we did for the program, like Coach was just saying, doing something that's never been done in program history before? Let's start with Steph and then we'll go to Jalen. Um, obviously, um, been for four years and this year was really special. Every year I've been part of it has been special, but this year was just a group of guys that understood the sacrifice it takes to make it this far. And um, it's just been unbelievable um, what we've been doing, obviously. We fell short tonight, but um, just appreciate all my teammates and my, my brothers that made all the sacrifice for this year. Um, yeah, uh, being around this group has been the best year of my life. Um, I've gotten so close to everybody in the program, and it's tough to lose this game, but we've done so much this year. Um, that's the first NCAA tournament, and um, it, it was a great year. Come here, same side on the end, row two. Whoop. It's such a big lead so quickly. We'll start with, uh, let's go with Jalen first, then Stefan there. Um, they're a really good team. Um, this is our first time being at the, in the NCAA tournament, so maybe a little jitters. Um, mm -hmm. But when we settle down, um, we proved that we could we could um, compete with them, so we'll be back and try to do better next time. Yeah, like like, like you said, <clears throat> obviously the beginning of the game we we never found a rhythm, kind of hurt ourselves, hurt ourselves there, but uh, we saw the second half that when we just kind of play our game and play loose and and kind of embrace the stage, uh, great things can happen for us. So it was a great experience. Go in the back, stay in front of me in the back row. Um, Curtis Rouse, Slam Magazine. For Jalen, um, what are some ways you're looking forward to really building on this year? Like you just said, it's a few jitters your first time um, this, with this team. So um, how do you plan on building on this season and just continuing to lead this program? Um, well, first, we don't want to wait another 52 years or 53 or whatever it was to get back to another NCAA tournament. Um, we want to make this a thing where we're getting here every year and just getting used to it, getting used to playing in big games like this um, will be helpful. Any more questions for the student athletes? Okay. Steph, Jalen, we appreciate you taking the time. Stetson Locker Room is still open at this time. I think it will be for another 10 minutes or so. Uh, at this time, we'll take questions for Coach Jones. Again, raise your hand and we'll just give 
Name and affiliation before asking your question. Hey, Jerry Beach, Field Level Media again. Uh, what did you think in that second half? You know, you guys had a little bit of run. Your fan base got into it. You know, every trip down was a pretty loud experience. Every dunk was a loud experience. What was it like, you know, hearing them enjoy it, you know, for the 40 minutes and two hours that they had tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, you walk in there at halftime, and, and obviously a lot of guys were uh, discouraged uh, because felt they didn't get off to a great start. A lot of nervousness, I knew. Hopefully some shots would go down. Uh, early for us to kind of break the ice a little bit and get a little momentum. Thought we had some stops there, and we kind of hung around, then all of a sudden got down to 8-0. But I thought at halftime, you know, the biggest thing I told those guys right now is, hey, pick your head up. It's zero to zero. I wrote on the board. I don't care about the score right now. I care about how we play for 20 minutes. So let's pick our head up. You guys made it this far, uh, and we're going to go out and we're going to show everybody that you guys belong here. And so I thought we took a breath. I thought we came together. Uh, those guys battled. Uh, I wrote the word pride on the board because this team has been all about pride all year long. Uh, we've overcome a lot of stuff uh, on our team. Uh, we lost Josh Smith, uh, who's an important piece, and we've had a lot of different things where guys have stepped up, and these guys have continued to be a team all year long. So my biggest thing with them was uh, it's going to be how we finish today, and uh, we're going to be proud when we walk off this floor. We're going to go to the other side of the room on the far side. Go ahead, Ralph. Coach, Ralph Russo from the Associated Press. Obviously, they're very good, and you could see that from the film, but when you play them, is there something that is, do you think maybe catches your kids off guard a little bit? Oh, they're this good, especially when they were really locked in today. Yeah, outstanding. I mean, you can't, you can't create that environment in practice. You know, we could practice for 30 days. And the size, length, athleticism, those teams I was a part of at Florida, we had those same guys. I mean, there's a reason we won national championships because after the first five, there was another five. And they just wear you down with length. They got a lot of different weapons, big guards. And so our guys, you know, just trying to learn to play against that. You think you're open, but you're not. And the physicality for our guys was just uh, at a different level. So we have played some teams this year uh, that had that, you know, in the Big 12 and different things. but not to the level that we saw today. So I give Dan Hurley credit with the job him and his staff have done with this team. We'll go back to you, Ralph, and then we'll come back into the middle. Yeah, I'm sorry, if I can get it just a follow up here, Coach. And sure. You mentioned those Florida teams, and that's the last team to, so obviously they're getting compared mm -hmm. to that because that's the last team to repeat. Again, maybe it's a little bit of a cliche question. Can you compare them? You, you said there are some similarities, but could you compare the two? Yeah, you know, well, they got four bigs that can play, which is, uh, important and we had that as well. Uh, the other thing they have is experience. Uh, I think they, they've got uh, a lot of guys, some guys have been a part of that. I know they lost some pieces, uh, but they have five guys double, average in double figures, uh, which we had. So it's not one or two guys that's going to get you to the finals. It's going to be your team can score on a given night. So uh, they're very efficient uh, offensively. Uh, they don't beat themselves. They rebound. They defend. Uh, they they do a great job. Obviously, they're terrific. Their staff is terrific, well coached. So, you know, that doesn't guarantee you're going to win it, but it gives you a chance. You know, we always felt, can you put yourself in that circle and have a shot? And uh, with those kind of weapons, you know, I could see them having a great opportunity for that. Next two questions will be here on the aisle. We'll start on row four on this side, and then we'll go across to row three on that side. So right here on row four. Yep. Did you, did you raise your hand, didn't you? Okay, then we'll go row three on this side. We'll use that microphone. That's fine. Hi, Sherry Taylor, New York Beacon. Hi. Um, seems like you guys came out with more energy at halftime. Do you think so? And what was your message at halftime? Yeah, yeah. As I mentioned earlier, my message was, uh, you know, just about those guys. Zero to zero at halftime. Pride was what I wrote on the board. Uh, did not care about the score at that point. Uh, just wanted our guys to go out and show the level that we could play at that got us here and uh, to go out and have no regret in these last 20 minutes. So I thought those guys band together. Uh, they're a different group. Uh, this, this group has, wasn't picked the win to A-Sun. This group has believed in themselves. And all the way to the final buzzer, uh, I told these guys, uh, you know, they're a, they're a special group with how they continue to handle themselves through winning and losing. And, you know, there's no loss with our group tonight. You know, the victory's already been won. Uh, the brotherhoods, the relationships, the stories these guys will have from a lifetime, the history they made at Stetson, to see the fan base cha change at Stetson University, how the universities come together, it's only going to rise. 
So we're thankful that they've been the pioneers to take this place and this school to a place they've never seen before. All right, we'll go the other side. I think we do have a question now, yes? Yeah, Coach over here. Uh, you know, first of all, what were the last 12 days like for you? You were on the first teams to clinch a berth, so you got to, I guess, enjoy it for a while, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, uh, yeah so there was a lot of celebration, uh, which was which was great. Uh, we had a lot of practice time. Hey, believe it or not, maybe we didn't look like it in the first half, but uh, but it was a great uh, community uh, opportunity for us and our school to really celebrate you know, this milestone that we accomplished. Sharing today with the fans, like I said, they were pretty into it in that second half. You know, it came up a long way, obviously, from, from Florida. What's it like sharing that with them? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking that question, because I'd love, love to talk about that. I'd love to just thank the the Hatter fans, uh, our administration, Jeff Altier, our athletic director right there for believing in me, uh, giving me a chance here, our president, uh, Roki. Uh, just, just thankful for uh, what these uh, past players, past fans, past students, has been humbling to see the amount of people that's come out, come out and celebrate us here in New York, all across the country, parades on our way out of town. Uh, I've never seen such a community come together uh, during this situation. It's been very, very uh, humbling. We're going to stay in this section in front of me on the end, row three, just yet. Go ahead. Hey, Coach. Ryan Morick here with uh, Fox News. Uh, I don't want to make you sound like a broken record. It sounds like you are very happy with uh, how they went out, but you've been discussing pride uh, since the start of the second half. Did you guys give you that? They did. Uh, I definitely felt we accomplished that, and um, that's who we were this whole season. Uh, this group was a unique group. Uh, this is a group here that never quit, uh, regardless of the score. Uh, they've been very resilient. Uh, there's a lot of tears in that locker room. There's a lot of respect in that locker room. And uh, these guys truly love each other. That's something we don't see in teams a lot. Uh, a lot of guys are individuals. They play for themselves. And even if some teams are winning, uh, they're not tight like this. But this group really come together and really believed. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on a historic season. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.